All right, so I'm done harvesting the yellow potatoes that were fed the LDS Prepper Premium Micronutrient Mix uh, in the plant food. And now I'm going to be harvesting this 30 foot box that has red potatoes in it that I did not feed them the LDS Premium Micronutrient Mix on a weekly basis like I did the yellow potatoes. So this will be 30 feet of harvesting compared to 19, uh, 20 feet of harvesting and we'll see the difference in the yield. Well, I'm at 10 feet. You can tell because the, these joints here are 10 feet long because I'm using two by eights by tens. And so I'm definitely getting some nice potatoes here, but certainly not the volume that I was getting from the potatoes that were fed properly. Well, I consider properly fed so they have all the nutrition that they need. So probably a fourth or a fifth or a sixth of the amount. Some beautiful potatoes, but still, uh, it's the same amount of work, same amount of space. Why not dramatically increase the productivity and nutrient density of your food by feeding them properly? So this is a follow-up and comparison video to my video I made just a few minutes ago when I was harvesting the yellow potatoes and the difference here and so if you haven't seen that video it's critical that you go see that video I'll have a link here below this video so make sure you go see that but uh, what I'm doing here is I'm harvesting red potatoes in a box that's just a few feet away from the other box that I harvested the yellow potatoes from and the difference in the harvest the volume is dramatic it's visible so uh, the difference between these potatoes here even though I'm getting some beautiful potatoes is that I did not feed these potatoes weekly with the LDS uh, prepper premium micronutrient mix that's used to make up the plant food and so even though I'm getting a harvest which proves that uh, nature wants to produce wants to grow wants to fulfill its purpose in life, the yield is dramatically, dramatically less. So, is the nutrient density gonna be the same? Well, I'm not smart enough to have the equipment to test that, but uh, I would simply say, looking at the, the, uh, the yield uh, is a pretty big indication that these, uh, these plants weren't able to produce as much in the same space same conditions, uh, just not enough of the nutrients. So, if you're gonna grow food, to me, I'm all about return on investment. Time, effort, space, water, uh, plant food, resources, and everything. Everything is a, an investment. And so if I'm gonna put in an investment, I wanna get the biggest return for my investment. And that biggest return is going to be doing something that's very easy, very inexpensive, and very uh, high return on investment. And that is taking the time to make sure that my uh, produce has the right nutrients. The number one thing that I've seen as I've visited hundreds of gardens all across the world, not just in the US, um, is lack of nutrition and these plants are literally starving to death because we're well, not to death they're literally a nutrient deficient starving for nutrients simply because people wanted to save some money and they're just using this or that or they're spending a lot of money like we used to when my wife was a, an organic grower spent a lot of money on supplements and bone meal and fish emulsion and compost tea and lots of work lots and lots of work uh, very expensive soil and the yields even with all that extra work and extra expense and extra resources was dramatically less simply because it was just a guessing game we we never really knew what nutrients 
the plants were getting. I mean, in this soil, if I filled this soil with, or mixed the chicken manure, or cow manure, or horse manure, or compost, or whatever in here, do I know how much manganese, copper, zinc, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, uh, molybdenum, iron is in here? And do I know what ratios? Is it toxic? Or is it not sufficient? There's no way of knowing. Well, that's why I like the method that I, I use and using the LDS Prepper Premium Micronutrient Mix is because I know for a surety that my plants are getting the right amounts of the nutrients. In other words, they're not getting too much, so it becomes toxic. And I know that they're getting the right ratios. So we all know that as humans, we need to have iron in our diet. And if we don't have iron in our diet, we're going to be sick or dead, actually. But we also know that if we have too much iron, it will kill us. And so we need to have the right amount and the right um, quant uh, uh, ratio of uh, nutrients and minerals. And that's what using this very simple, very inexpensive method provides. Regardless of how else you grow, if you want to put compost and mulch and all these other things in your garden, that's perfectly fine. But it's guest gardening. I'm growing food as if my life depends on it. And I'm not going to guess on it. And I don't need to be composting. And I don't have to live on a farm or go get manure. You can do this in a city. You can do this on an apartment balcony. It's very compact, very easy, very, very affordable. Uh, and anybody can do it. Because all I did was follow the instructions in the Midlander Gardening Course book. Which brings up the question, how did I ever come, you know, come across it, or how did I even decide to try the Midlander Gardening Method? Well, it was one sentence. And in the Midlander Gardening Course book, Jacob Midlander, who, who uh, refined this system, over thousands of gardens across the entire globe said I promise you a great garden in any soil and when someone gives me their word I take it as their word and so I did exactly what he said to do in the Midlander Gardening Course book and I'm getting phenomenal results this is the result I get from doing it partially not all the way they got the, min the micronutrients, they got the pre-plant uh, food, but they weren't watered consistently, they weren't fed consistently. Uh, so I got a yield, definitely, and this is uh, a, a, a very good yield, but it's a fraction um, of what the other yield is. And it's not because of the variety of the potato, because I've grown this potato, exactly these potatoes in this box before last year and had a, hundreds of pounds, I harvested hundreds of pounds of potatoes in the same space that I'm getting just a few potatoes out of uh, this year. The difference is I followed the method. I took the man for his word and he proved himself correct. Um, I didn't write the book. I am a contributor, so is my wife and we promote growing food as if your life depends on it. I really don't care what method you use. I am just trying to help people survive, to eat healthy, to be healthy. Whether you do this or not is not going to affect my life one way or the other. I hope that these videos uh, positively affect your life and that your family and that you are benefited uh, in health and abundance, um, high nutrition, high productivity because of what I share with you. So if you haven't gotten the Midlight of Gardening Course book yet, um, I would recommend it. It's on sale right now at ldspepperstore.com and uh, pick, uh, pick up a book. It's uh, very inexpensive. It's worth it. Um, before I send it out, I sit down and I autograph them, put my name in there. Not that it makes any difference. It's not going to change the value of the book. But it's just my way of saying thank you for supporting this channel and for, for your trust 
in um, purchasing the book and take a look at this. This can really, really change your life. Now there was a big problem that Jacob Mintleiter had, Dr. Mintleiter had, when he taught this course to commercial growers. The problem that he had is that those commercial growers who were either going out of business or just barely staying alive, uh, covering costs and so forth, you know how it is to be a commercial grower. Once they implemented his system exactly as he outlined it to them, they became millionaires, millionaires, and they would not share it with other growers. Um, that really broke his heart, from what I understand. I never met Jacob personally, but from what I understand, that really troubled him. And so he spent a lot of time focusing on the home grower, someone who's gonna grow food in their own backyard, uh, because there's no financial gain that way. So I am a home grower, but I grow food as if my life depends on it, and I want other people to grow food um, as if their life depends on it. And if the information is out there, why not share it and help other people? My last name is Gilmore, and as I've done family history, uh, I have found that Gilmore means head servant. And so if I can be a servant to others and share my knowledge and my experience and my successes with all the videos I have on my uh, uh, channel here, ldsprepper.com, then why not? I know it takes time, it takes effort uh, for me to do this, but I don't want to meet my maker and have him say, what did you do with the knowledge that I shared with you? And I don't want to say I kept it for myself. I didn't bless the lives of the others. I want to be able to say I shared it and I hope that I um, expanded the talent that you gave me and that it multiplied through uh, other people's efforts. Uh, so that's my goal. When I meet my maker and when I meet you, uh, I want to be able to look you and him in the eye and say I did everything I could to help my neighbors, my brothers and sisters, my world family. And if it's just simply by putting up some videos, taking some time to show the harvest, I'm glad to do that. Now, we don't have a lot of potatoes here because this here, I didn't follow the system exactly on purpose to give you a, a difference. Uh, um, so you're, regardless of how you grow, pretty much, you're going to get a harvest. But could that have been two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten times the amount if you would have done something a little bit differently? If you would have followed his step-by-step -step system that's made designed for somebody who has a black thumb or a green thumb, regardless of the experience, could you have produced more food? Could you have helped your family more? Could you have lowered your food expenses? Could you help the neighbor? Yes, yes. So uh, grab the book. Um, I do have the micronutrients uh, on sale on my website at ldspepperstore.com. If you order eight packages or more, I pay all the shipping. Regardless of what the shipping is, and regardless of where I ship it in the United States, we ship it all over from uh, 48 states, Alaska, Hawaii, uh, everywhere. And I pay for that shipping if you order eight. Well, there's a nice big one. If you order eight packages or more. If you don't want to order eight, that's fine. But get yourself some micronutrients. Get the knowledge. Because I guarantee you, I wasn't a great, I wasn't as good as a gardener at my first year as I am this year and if you expect that you can just buy a book and buy seeds and not put them into practice and use them and then all of a sudden uh, when your life depends on it grow a huge successful garden like you see here that's not the case you really really need to um, put these things into action before your life depends on it so um, I think in a normal garden, this would be a, a great harvest. Uh, I, I've grown here before last year and I know the difference and this is 
nothing like what it could be. So, I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. I have over 500 videos on self-reliance at ldsprepper.com and my store is ldsprepperstore.com. Uh, so, uh, take, take time to watch them, watch them in the evening. Uh, if you wanna watch something that's uplifting and educating and something that can help you versus maybe watching something on Disney or Netflix or Hulu or something like that. You don't have to have a subscription. I don't charge for any of these videos. These are all free. I, I would not feel good about charging for the knowledge I have with this when it was given to me at no cost. So I pass this on to you the same way that I received it. The only difference between you and me is I've got 10 years of experience using this method um, compared to you. So I don't know what your experience is, uh, but uh, I've, got, I've been doing this for 10 years. And that's why I've got over 500 videos on my channel showing you how to grow food as if your life depends on it, showing you how to live off grid, um, how to be self-reliant, uh, why I have such high priority in uh, w water filtration and food production. My wife and I have lived through hurricanes, tornadoes. We've been in the tornado bunkers as the hurricane's gone over and you wonder what's going to be left when you get come back up. We've been in hurricanes where we haven't had power or water, uh, any utilities for four weeks, um, 14 days, I'm sorry, at a time. We've, that's happened to us uh, in Washington, in Texas, in California, uh, all over. And here's a, here's a nice one here. I'm gonna see if I can't kind of uncover this. Um, by the way, you see, see this? So I'll take these same potatoes. I'll let them sit for about five to six weeks because they need a resting period. And then they will start growing these little shoots. And I can use this, this is a, this one right here is a perfect, perfect seed potato. So I could take this one right now, put it right back in the ground and start growing potatoes again. But I'm gonna let these rest for five to six weeks before I do that. And uh, yeah, I'll grow all the way through the winter because I have a greenhouse. So I'm literally producing all my own produce year round in this geothermal greenhouse. If you, and I'm in Idaho, zone 5A. So if you haven't um, come across my geothermal greenhouse videos yet, uh, take a look at it at ldsprepper.com and uh, learn how to grow food year round no matter where you live. Now when I was in Texas it was really easy. We had 278 days of you know growing between uh, the first day of frost and the last day of frost. Here in Idaho we have 78 days so I lost 200 days and I had to figure out you know, if I was going to grow food as if my life depended on it how would I need to do that and that's how I came up with the geothermal uh, greenhouse method. So take a look at those videos there. Um, however, you don't need a geothermal greenhouse to dramatically extend your growing season. You can simply use the mini greenhouse design that's in the Mittladder Gardening Course book. And that, really, that book just walks you through the entire growing experience. You know, this is dirt, <laughs> and this is the pointy end of the shovel. Uh, uh, and and it talks about plant nutrition and how to treat for bugs and insects and how to protect against um, diseases and how to identify nutrient deficiencies and recognize them for what they are instead of uh, oh it's got a disease when it's really just a deficiency hey well we are down to just the last four feet or so of this box and we've got a beautiful box of red potatoes here but uh, in comparison we would have four or five boxes if I had simply followed the Mitlata guarding method here and fed them weekly as I mentioned in my previous video again if you haven't seen that video on the amazing uh, potato harvest yield please take the time to go watch that video but uh, I know that I grow my 
tomato. Somebody said, well, what's it cost to grow food, you know, with the micronutrient mix in your pre-plant mix? Well, it's not mine, it's Jacob Mitlider's. I'm just smart enough, you know, and I'm being honest, I'm not a really smart guy, but I'm smart enough when someone gives me the word to, to take their word for what it is and to do exactly what they say. And I'm smart enough to follow the rules. And if he says do this, if he says make it uh, 18 inches wide using two by fours, that means I got a 15 inch growing space. That means I don't make it 16 inches wide or 24 inches wide or 36 or 32 inches wide. I make it 15 inches wide in the growing space. Why? Because if I change what he says to do in his book, then the promise is void. I voided the promise because I did not do what he said to do. And so that's all I did. And um, that's why I share this because the results are great. He's proven it. I'm not trying to prove anything to you or convince you of anything. I'm just showing you the results. Now down here, I've got a drippy faucet so the soil is going to be wet. I do see some potatoes here that it's a lot, a lot water down here. You notice how clean these potatoes came up? It's because the soil is nice and dry. So let's see if we got any potatoes here. Yep, we got some potatoes. These are not going to be dry. Now this is a lot harder to work in because the soil is wet. But we still got potatoes. We got a lot of potatoes. Let's see how much dirtier they are. Okay, so I like storing my potatoes just like this. I don't like washing them off, but these are so dirty. I'm gonna, oh, I'll need to wash these off here. Okay. Yeah, you can see quite a difference. See this one here with this shoot? I could already just start planting that as a seed potato. I won't, I'll be eating these. And then in a few weeks, I'll come back and plant them or maybe in the spring. I got lots of potatoes. Uh, I mean, I literally have a refrigerator full of potatoes. You'll see that here in a minute. And there's some more worms. And this is nothing but sand and sawdust. Those worms had to come from somewhere and they made their way all the way over here. Look at all these worms. All these worms here because of this wonderful, rich soil. Look at that. They're just as happy as can be. Happy as clams. Okay, so it looks like we're done here. Let's check. Do we have any more potatoes anywhere else in here? Nope. I'm digging up lots of worms. Lots of, lots of worms. Here's some more. Um, so I, I was able to grow and you can grow in just regular dirt. Uh, I, watch my videos. I've been growing in just this awful clay silt soil here in, in Idaho. And, my, and I, then I've been growing in the boxes with the sand and sawdust mix. And the yield's the same. I literally get the same amount almost to the pound. It doesn't make any difference. The soil doesn't need to provide the nutrients. I provide the nutrients with the LDS Prepper Premium Micronutrient Mix. So a beautiful harvest of potatoes here. Um, someone asked, what makes Idaho russet tato potatoes taste so good? And the person replied, it's all the butter. So with uh, russet potatoes, they aren't as sweet um, as the yellow potatoes, which I really, really like. But I believe that there is a higher nutrient density um, yeah, if they're fed equally amount, these will have uh, higher nutrients. But at any rate, um, these uh, these are these need something on them. Maybe some gravy, uh, and so I don't put so much fat on them. But anyway, there is the harvest. Um, again, go back, watch the other video. You'll see the difference. It's it's astounding. This is 30 feet compared to 10 feet, and I've got maybe. A fifth of the yield and uh, it could be so much more so so much more 
Uh, so whatever you're getting, whatever gardening method you're using, uh, if you, you need it from, from my garden to your garden, you really need to understand the importance of nutrients and uh, the plants getting those nutrients. And uh, whatever you're doing, if you can't if you determine what the ratios and what the amounts of those essential nutrients are, you're just guest gardening. And I don't want to be guest gardening. My wife's life or my life depends on me producing food. I'm in a greenhouse full of food. It's, it's literally a food forest. And I'm so grateful for Jacob Mintleiter and for all the, the life that he dedicated to the Lord uh, and spent with his wife teaching people from all over the world how to have a green thumb and how to grow food as if your life depends on it. So, head over to the LDSPrepperStore.com, pick up the Mint Ladder Garden Course book, pick up uh, your, your micronutri mi micronutrient mix. If you get eight of those and the book, I'll ship all that, the entire order, anywhere in the 48 states, Alaska and Hawaii, absolutely free. Uh, my wife also has her four, four, five of her uh, uh, herbal books over there. Uh, you get, you'll get the uh, best pricing on the Berkey water filter systems as an authorized Berkey dealer, and uh, as others, re really uh, great uh, resources and products, and many products that I don't sell that I recommend, and I actually have links where you can pick up those products at no cost, just pay shipping uh, from from vendors that I've used and recommend. So. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And you can dramatically increase your yields by taking Jacob Mitleider on his word and following his system to a T. And because it is a system, it doesn't depend on how good or how bad of a garden I am. I just follow the system, and if you do the same, you can expect the same results. Thanks.